Hi, this is Jason Gorman from Codemanship with the third in our series on solid design principles. The L in solid stands for Liskov substitution, which means that for an instance of any class, we must be able to substitute an instance of any of its subclasses without any ill effects. We'll look at a little example here. I've created a Fibonacci number generator that generates Fibonacci sequences of a specified length, could be any length. And then I've extended that to record the length of the last sequence that was requested. But also I've added a rule here that states that we should only be able to request sequences which are no shorter than 8 and no longer than 50 in length. Now I've got some test classes for a Fibonacci number generator and for the Fibonacci number generator with history. And all of these tests are passing. If I just run them now, we see that all of the tests currently pass. And I might be forgiven for thinking that that means everything is OK. But I'm going to show you a little trick now um, that will highlight a problem. Um, it will highlight here that we've actually broken the Liskov substitution principle. So what I can do to check that we have genuine substitutability between the subclass and its base class is I can make a change here. I can refactor the tests for the base class, the Fibonacci number generator, and create a factory method for the class under test. Let me just run the test there. Okay, and I'm just going to make this public and you'll see why in a minute. Now what I can do is I can have our Fibonacci number generator with history tests extend the Fibonacci number generator tests. like so, and I can override the factory method and have it return an instance of the subclass. Like so. Okay, when I do that and run the tests, what JUnit will do is it will pick up the tests in the subclass as well as the um, the base class and run all of them. So we'll run this test method twice as you can see. The test at the first five Fibonacci numbers should match the series that we expect. It works for the base class because the base class has no limits on the length of sequence you're allowed to request. But it fails when we run it against the subclass because the subclass enforces a rule that says that we can't ask for 5 because it's shorter than 8. And so it throws an exception which the tests for the base class are not expecting. Now, whatever the base class tests expect, we can bet our bottom dollar that that's what clients of Fibonacci number generator are also expecting. So it's quite possible that under certain circumstances, a client expecting a Fibonacci number generator will ask for a sequence that is shorter than 8 or longer than 50 and will not know how to handle the exception that gets thrown. So it's not genuinely substitutable. So that's Liskov substitution and that's a small trick you can do with you know quite a few variations of the X unit uh, framework to allow you to run base class tense tests against an instance of a subclass by introducing a factory method for the class under test.